name is Jenna Bugibaevna. Welcome to my class. Today we are going to talk about passive voice. Here you are going to uh, you are going to learn about how to use passive voice, when to use, and the formulation of passive voice. If you are ready, let's begin. What is a passive voice? A sentence generally begins with the performer of the action, which is subject, then the verb, then the object or person that the action is performed on. This is called an active sentence. For example, subject is John, verb is cleaned, and object is the room. Now, if we begin the sentence with the object or person that the action is performed on, we formulate a passive sentence. So starting with the object, the room, and adding the verb was cleaned. And if you want to add a person or subject, we can use by. The room was cleaned by John. Note. Not all verbs in English take an object. Therefore, some sentences are complete without an object. For example, John slept well, or John lives far away. This type of sentence cannot be changed into the passive voice. Let's have a look when should we use a passive voice. The two main cases, the first, we do not know who the subject is, or it is not important who the subject is. For example, somebody cleaned the room. The room was cleaned. Or, when it is obvious to the listener or reader who the subject is because it's the person who usually does it. The cleaner cleaned the room. The room was cleaned. Let's have a look how to formulate the passive voice. There are three steps. First of all, put the object of the verb at the beginning of, a, of your sentence. Then, conjugate the verb to be in the same tense as the active sentence. And finally, Put the main verb in the past participle form. For example, the active sentence is the postman delivers the mail. Put the object at the beginning of the sentence. Conjugate the verb to be in the present simple tense is and put the main verb in participle form, deliver it. So in this example, the decorator is painting my room. Here is the active sentence. Get ready the subject. Put the object at the beginning. The tense is present continuous, conjugate the verb uh, to be in the present continuous, is being, and change to painted. My room is being painted. One more example. Someone stole the money. Get rid of the subject. Put the object at the beginning. Conjugate the verb to be in a past simple tense. Was. And change stole to the participle form. Stolen. The money was stolen. We have. So note. First, if you want to match the subject in a passive sentence, use by. My room is being painted by the decorator. Note 2. If the active sentence begins with no one or nobody, the passive sentence will be negative. For example, 
No one turned on the light. The light was not turned on. And final note. If there is a preposition between the verb and the object, the preposition will remain after the verb. For example, they talked about the issue. The issue was talked about. Okay, let's have a look about the passive voice of different tenses. Present simple, active, I do it. Passive, it's done. Past simple, I did it. It was done. Future simple, I will do it. It will be done. Present continuous, I am doing it. It is being done. Past continuous. I was doing it. It was being done. Future continuous. I will be doing it. It will be being done. Present perfect. I have done it. It has been done. Past perfect, I had done it, it had been done. Future perfect, I will have done it, it will have been done. Present perfect continues, I have been doing it, not common. In fact, perfect continuous tenses are very uncommon in the passive voice. So we don't put past perfect continuous, I had been doing it, or future perfect continuous, I will have been doing it in the passive voice. So keep the sentences in the active form. Let's look at a couple of other structures in the passive. In structures containing the infinitive, do, the passive is simply be done. For example, be going to, I am going to do it, changes into, it is going to be done. Have to, I have to do it changes into it has to be done. Used to, I used to do it. It used to be done. And modal verbs can may with infinitive without to, I can do it. It can be done. And final structure, in expressions containing the gerund, doing, the passive voice, being done. So let's look at a couple of examples. Avoid. I avoid seeing him. The passive form, he avoids being seen. Or, with the expression, I don't mind. In active form, I don't mind teaching her. In the passive form, she doesn't mind being taught. Right, let's look at the person in object position. We can also formulate passive sentences with a person in an object position. For example, somebody pushed me. They can say, I was pushed. They have invited us. We have been invited. Someone was interviewing Jane. Jane was being interviewed. Some sentences have both an object and a person in the object position. 
you can choose either on, on one to formulate the passive sentence. For example, someone handed me a note. You could say, I was handed a note. Or, a note ha was handed to me. Another example, they have sent us a copy. We have been sent a copy or a copy has been sent to us. So, okay, it's time to look at common mistakes. There are four common mistakes. The first one is changing the tense to a similar tense. For example, someone has reported the incidents. This is present perfect. It's a common mistake to say the incidents were reported, changing to the past voice, passive uh, voice. So here should be the incidents have been reported. Or future tenses, they are going to build a church. And you may hear a church will be built. So the change, uh, the change to be going to, to will. So it should be is going to be built. The second common mistake, forgetting uh, the verb to be. Someone has reported the incidents. The incidents have report, you may see here. The incidents have been reported should be. They are going to build a church. A church is going to build. So the verb to be is missing. The church is going to be built. The third common mistake using the present participle instead of the past participle. Someone has reported the incidents. The incidents have been reporting. No. So the incidents have been reported. Or they are going to build a church. You may hear a church is going to be building, but it should be a church is going to be built. The fourth one, confusing plural and singular verbs. Someone has reported the incidents. Someone is singular, so it's what has reported. But the incidents are plural, so you must say the incidents have been reported. They are going to build a church. A church are going to be built. So church, here is a singular, so that is where a church is going to be built, it should be. So, thank you. I think you enjoyed it. Next, uh, see you next week. Thank you for your attention.